My name is Nigel Maynard. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Residential Building Products and Technology. And this week we're at the International Builder Show in Las Vegas. And we're going to be looking at innovative products. And our first stop today is at the GE booth. And I'm here with Sean Stover, who is the product manager for the appliances. For the built-in cooking products. Built-in cooking products. And we're here to look at a pretty interesting wall oven that Sean is going to tell us about. Thank you, Nigel. Yeah, this is our new GE wall oven, completely redesigned from the ground up. Um, you can see from the, uh, the look, it's a brand new appearance for us, coordinates across the entire line of the GE appliances so that you can have a whole suite of products inside your home. But the real magic kind of happens inside. Okay. You know, when you go to the inside of this oven, again, completely redesigned from the, from the ground up, flat door for easy cleaning, 5.0 uh, cubic uh, foot capacity inside the oven, racks that go all the way from the bottom all the way to the top to give you full use of that capacity. But Sean, I heard that the, 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 I heard that the wall oven is innovative though, so oh. give me some of the innovation. Brand new convection system. Uh, like other systems, if you want to cook on multi-racks, no problem, we can do that. Okay. We blow air from the back and cover all three racks at one time. Okay. However, this system's different by one great way. It pulls air from the back, funnels it up the back of the unit, and it comes directly down on top of the food. No other system out there in the residential use by a major manufacturer does that. So what does that do for the food? And what is, how, what is the benefit to the sure. homeowner? Convection systems are all about airflow, okay? And by taking that airflow and coming directly down on the food, I have a lot more control over the performance of that system. Okay. I take that cookware, I don't know whether you have a high-sided pan, a low-sided pan, I don't know what's in your cupboards, but it doesn't matter. My, my air's coming directly down on the food, so I'm hitting the food, not the pan. Now, when you move to the outside of the unit, brand new control. We've got oversized buttons. We've got double-sized buttons for frequently used uh, functions that are out there, so they're easy for you to find, easy for you to operate. The other thing this control does is notification lighting. Okay. Everybody has a busy lifestyle, right? You got a lot of things going on. What this system does is when you start it up and you go into preheat, it lights and pulsates while it's preheating. Okay. 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 It's letting you know that, hey, it's not time to put your food in. When it's time to put your food in, that light goes solid, letting you know you can put your food in and get ready for your meal. It also has a sex second function that if um, you set a timer for this, that light collapses down and will progress like a progress bar for like a file download on your computer, okay. letting you know how much time's left. You don't have to be tied to your wall oven to see how much time's left. You can see it from the other room and glance in and say, it's time to set, or time to make the salad. It's time to put the rolls in, set the table, call the kids in from outside. You can see that easily without having to be tied to your wall oven. Okay. And then the third thing that this does from a convenience standpoint is it's Wi-Fi connected. So from your Wi-Fi router inside your home, you can take your uh, iPhone or Android device, connect to your wall oven, and via remote enable, you can start your wall oven. You can also see the timer as, as far as how much time's left in your cycle, how much, uh, uh, if you want to change your temperature. Okay, and so when is the wall oven available for purchase? This wall oven will be available in June 2013. June 2013. Along with the whole suite of other products that go along with it. Sean, thank you very much. Nigel, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Okay, so now we're at the Color Company, a company that has a history of introducing really innovative stuff at the Kitchen and Bath Show and the International Builder Show. And this year is no exception. I'm here with Travis Rotelli, a senior interior designer with the company. And Travis, we're standing in front of shower heads that look like regular shower heads, but they're not typical shower heads. Absolutely. Tell me about this product right here. So this new shower head we're looking at here is called our Kohler Moxie. It is a Bluetooth speaker integrated shower head. Now exactly what does that mean? So from any Bluetooth enabled device, such as a smartphone or a laptop, mm -hmm. anything with a Bluetooth capability, okay. you can wirelessly stream music directly to your shower head. Okay, so I'm in the living room, I can program my phone or my computer and send music to the speaker. Absolutely, the okay. absolutely. Now, normally electronics and water, they don't really mix. So how are you able to do that in this case? So this, the speaker actually stands inside the middle of the shower head and it's a waterproof speaker. The entire encasement is completely waterproof, the speaker as well as the back. This rubber opening here does pop open, so you can plug this in and charge it, but the speaker does hold seven hours of runtime. So now I can remove it from the shower head and take it wherever I want and use it Absolutely. there as well. This doesn't have to be limited to just your shower. When you're done in the bathroom and you're going into the bedroom to get ready or going into your closet, take the speaker and take the music with you. Absolutely. Okay, so now 
in the bathroom, everything is wet, they're soaped up. So do you have a warning label that people shouldn't dance in the shower when the speaker's on? Not or? at all. <laughs> we want you to be careful, but go ahead and bust okay, the move. <laughs> okay. And so the product is called Moxie and it's available now? Absolutely. It's available in white and it's available in chrome. Absolutely. Okay. Great. Good. Travis, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. My pleasure. So now we're at the Royal Building Products booth and we're standing in front of what looks like a traditional patio door. But I'm standing here with David De Felice, who is the business manager for the patio door division, and he's going to tell us why this door is not typical. David, what is up with this door? Well, this is our new folding door for uh, Overture Line that we developed back in uh, June of last year. Okay. And it's an all vinyl system, and it is a considered a higher end product. Mm -hmm. Uh, being all vinyl, we have from vinyl frame to all vinyl sashes reinforced with both uh, aluminum and steel. Um, what makes it so unique, it's not your typical sliding door as you mentioned. Right. So what we have here is many configurations. We can go from 24 feet wide up to 10 feet tall. Okay. Okay, up to eight panel configuration, folding in multiple directions. Okay. So this particular one here looks like your typical patio door, but what we have here is a smooth and seamless operating with very little if any pressure needed to open the door and now what you're doing is you're bringing your outside in now typically we see this style of door on aluminum clad all wood um, but I haven't seen it on an all vinyl product. We're, we're probably considered one of the first manufacturers of an all vinyl folding door system. Okay. Uh, the advantages, uh, you have thermal performance. Mm -hmm. We've been able to achieve an R6 value okay. on our door that we've simula uh, simulated. Okay. Uh, we offer from dual glazing, one inch overall glass up to triple glazing, inch and three eighths. Okay. Okay. And structural wise, performance wise, we have an SP55 rating, which gives us good overall structural ratings. So what kind of options do you have on your hardware? From a hardware, we offer standard stainless steel hardware okay. for the hinges and basic white handles, but can be upgradable to uh, a brush chrome finish, a chrome finish, black anodized finish, along with our seal and head tracks can also be black anodized to give it that little yeah. high iron look. Now you said you developed it uh, mid last year. Is it, is it on the market right now? Yes, it is. It's available with any Royal Building Product uh, customer. Okay. It's available to anybody, window and door manufacturers out there. Um, so it's out there. Okay. It's out and available. Great. David, thank you very much. My pleasure. Cool. Good. Okay, so we're here at the DeWalt booth, and we're, and we're going to be looking at a really cool framing nailer. I'm here with Hector Vallejo of DeWalt. And Hector, this looks like a typical framing nailer, but I understand from one of the, uh, the employees here that uh, it's a little bit different than what you typically see on a job site. Yeah, I mean, this is our new uh, 20 volt max brushless framing nailer. Uh, it is the first unit out there that runs on battery only. Most units that are cordless out in the marketplace run with gas and battery. Right. This unit runs only on battery. So can you show us how, it, how, how do you use it here? Sure. So the unit runs of a 4 amp power 20 volt max battery. Okay. And it can shoot five, six to 800, 600 to 800 nails on a battery charge. Okay. You can rapid load or you can shoot sequential or rapid load mode. Okay, so shoot the regular way. So if you wanted to shoot one nail at a time, you would have to depress the unit, activate the unit, then you would press the trigger and it would shoot the nail. Okay. That's your okay. sequential mode. Okay. If you wanted to bump fire on the unit, you would press the trigger on the unit and then you would bump fire. You can shoot the nailer without making contact with the material and pushing down on the, on the unit. So okay, cool. very hard to shoot somebody <laughs> with this That's unit. That's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> and so you're saying that you get the same performance as you would on all the other tools? Yep, yep. Okay. you would get the same performance. Uh, up to 55,000 nails before you can actually have to actually service the unit. Okay. Uh, most units out there, you got to service them once a month. This one would take you a lot longer before you need to service the unit. So, And it's on the market right now? Or you, when is it going to be released to the public? It's going to be out on the market a mid-summer time mid -summer. frame. It's going to come out on the market, yeah. Okay. yeah. Hector, thank you very much. Not a problem. Good to meet you. Appreciate it. Bye. Okay.